Welcome to Excel Basics video number seven. Hey, as we've talked about in this class all the way from the beginning, keyboard shortcuts are fast. And if you want to download this Excel workbook file here or the PDF files, you can click on the link below the video. Hey, and we're on the sheet within this workbook called Keyboards. Now, the first keyboard we want to look at is I got this data set here, and I need to create some formulas and a pivot table over here. But I have no idea how tall this data set is. No problem. I click in the top cell and use the keyboard to jump to the bottom, Control down arrow. Just like that, it keeps going until it bumps into an empty cell. Now, if there's empty cells in the data set, it would have stopped above that empty cell. Now watch what happens if I control down arrow again. It keeps going down, and because it can't find anything, it just stops at the bottom of the spreadsheet. Now sometimes we get lost in a spreadsheet like this, and all I want to do is jump back to cell A1. The keyboard, control home. Now I'd like to highlight all the way to the bottom, whereas over here we did control arrow, if I want to highlight all the way down to the bottom and do some formatting, I have to add the Shift key to it. So now if I hold Control, Shift, down arrow, instantly I highlight all the way to the bottom. Now, both of these two examples, Control, down arrow, and Control, Shift, down arrow, work going down. But those same keyboards work if you use the right arrow, left arrow, up arrow, or down arrow. Now, the next thing I want to do is I actually want to jump back to the active cell at the top of this highlighted range. The keyboard to jump back to the active cell, Control Backspace. I love that. I've highlighted somewhere, and I just want to get back to the top. Now, I want to decrease the decimals. And last video, we saw how to create a custom quick access toolbar. And we talked about the importance of putting the buttons that you use most often at the very front of the Quick Access Toolbar. And here's why. When we hit the Alt key, we've seen this many times in the class so far, screen tips pop up. We know if we hit N, it jumps to the Insert Ribbon tab. But now we see that hitting Alt also enacts numbers for all the buttons in our Quick Access Toolbar. So since decreased decimal is 1, now I'm going to hit 1. Now we want to remember that Alt keyboards are succession keys. That means if I want to decrease the decimals, I hit the Alt key and let go. Then I tap the 1 key and let go. Noticing that Increase Decimal is the second button, I can Alt 2. I'm going to do Alt-1 in succession to get back to zero decimals. Now our next task is to highlight the whole table and add borders. So there's definitely a keyboard to highlight the whole table. And I don't want to use Control-A, because in advanced Excel, when you use the macro recorder, that doesn't work as well as Control-Asterisk. Now I'm going to use the number pad asterisk, Control-Asterisk and instantly my whole table is highlighted. Now many of you got this, Control-8, and you did the keyboard for outline symbols. So if you're going to use the standard keyboard, it's Control-Shift-8. Now I can add borders, whether up in the font group or right click. There's on the mini toolbar, all borders. Now another one of the greatest keyboards ever in Excel out of 450 functions, the sum function is the only one with a keyboard. And the keyboard is Alt equals. Now that Alt equals, you actually have to hold Alt and equals down at the same time. And there's our sum. Now I need to highlight the entire range. And watch this. Right in the middle of creating a formula, I can use Control Shift down arrow to highlight and insert the range into the formula. Control Shift down arrow. Now I immediately want to jump back to the active cell, so Control Backspace. That keyboard works 
whether we're in the middle of creating a formula or just highlighting a range like we did earlier. Now I hit Enter. Now we want to create a SOM IFS report where we have daily sales totals. So I'm going to click in the top cell, equals SUMI. And I notice the function I want with the SOM IFS with the S is the second one. So I use the down arrow to select the function in blue. Once it's selected in blue, another great keyboard, tab to put the function into the cell. Now I need to highlight the SUM range. Those are all the numbers I potentially want to add. So I'm going to click in the top cell. Use the keyboard Control shift down arrow, but I'm copying this formula, and I need to lock it. So now I use F4 key to put the dollar signs and convert that to an absolute cell reference. Now I'm going to type comma to get to criteria range 1. I do need to copy some ifs down and get totals for 1020, 1021, 1022, but that's the criteria. Since it says range, that means I need to give it the entire date column. So I click in the top cell, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, F4 to lock it. Now I comma, and criteria 1, I'm using the keyboard, the arrow key, to insert the cell directly one to the left. That relative cell reference will work. Close parentheses. And now another great keyboard, Control, Enter because my goal is to put the thing in the cell and keep the cell selected. Now, why do we need to do that? Because we're immediately going to copy the formula. There's my fill handle. I'm going to move my selection cursor over, and when I see my crosshair, double click and send it down. Now I want to jump to the bottom using Control Arrow. I want to put the cell in Edit Mode using the F2 key. I don't know what I do without the keyboard F2. Now I'm verifying, because any time we copy a formula, you got to go to the bottom and F2 to verify. Now I'm going to hit Enter. There's a bunch of amazing keyboards. Alt and V, we saw that one last video. That's for inserting a pivot table. And Alt PSP, we saw that in Word and Excel to open up page setup. All right, so in this video, we simply saw a bunch of keyboards, most of which we've already seen before. And we use keyboards because they are fast. They help us format a column, jump to the bottom, enter our formulas, lock our cell references more quickly than if we did it without keyboards. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up and leave a comment and sub, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. Next Excel Basics, we'll actually talk about default alignment. Yes, default alignment can help us quite a lot in Excel. All right, we'll see you next video.